Hey guys, a very good evening. So after a couple of years, I think the last I gave was in June 2020. I gave the CSI net exam. I skipped the last one and uh, I'm glad it, I gave it because the exam level was quite good, I would say. And there are a lot of changes that you see in the pattern. So I'll not uh, while I have any more time, let's just quickly cut to the chase. So if I talk about the level of the examination, it was more on the difficult side. Um, I know different people have different opinions, but that's something that I found. And there are particular reasons. So like whenever I make a statement, I generally like to justify it. And the reason I'm going to tell you is that the it could be difficult. It could be a difficult exam, but I'm saying on the difficult side. So it is between average and difficult, but more towards the difficult side. And like I said, the reason behind that is that section C, particularly physical chemistry and organic chemistry. Inorganic was easy, that, that was a good thing, but organic and physical chemistry were difficult. And organic chemistry, as it is, the questions were not difficult, but they made multiple select questions out of those MCQs. Like for example, there were many questions in which they had asked that, okay, this reaction is taking place, A to B, uh, then what are going to be the intermediate? So now just, you know, fi finding out the product will not fetch you the right answer. There were a lot of questions related to chirality. Um, uh, very typical questions that you see from name reactions or reagents were not there. Even one question that was from reagents, that was also not straightforward where they had Birch reduction. Um, like there was a question on Birch reduction that was one of the reagents they had given in the sequence. So overall, um, definitely the organic chemistry section was not simple um, and, and obviously the physical chemistry as well. In fact, physical chemistry was very lengthy. And to top that, what generally happens is that section A uh, in most of the exams you would see, four or five questions are always easy in the aptitude section. Okay, I've always seen this, that four or five questions are easy. But this time, I think apart from two or three straightforward questions, the rest of the questions needs ne needed to be solved. They needed some time. So, you know, the easy five or 10 marks uh, that used to fetch in the aptitude section earlier by just giving like, let's say three or four minutes or even five minutes, that was not happening in this paper. So the section A was definitely tough. The section C overall, if I say, if I leave out in organic chemistry was also on the difficult side. Section B was easy, okay, and that is a surprise because generally section B is considered to be tough and students don't attempt more than 20 questions. But what happens is there has to be a, psycho, psycho, like a psychological reason behind that. Now you always think section B is going to be tough. So even if it came easy, a lot of you attempted section B maybe at the last or maybe when you are exhausted. So even if section B was easy, still psychologically speaking, if a student is giving multiple attempts, they know section B is going, going to be tough. Um, so there is something that is always holding you back. So considering all these aspects, I think the cutoff is going to go uh, quite low. I will talk about the cutoff. What is the estimated or the expected cutoff? Like obviously, I don't know the exact cutoff uh, that is going to be. It depends on the number of seats also. Hopefully, hopefully the number of seats are going to be more. But you never know in June uh, 2020 or even in the June 2021 exam, everyone was expecting the number of seats to be increased by CSR, but they were not dramatically increased. Not dramatically also, they were not even increased um, even five or ten percent. Anyway, so coming to the difficult, like I talked talk, talk, uh, talked about the difficult sections. So section A was difficult. Section C, in particular, physical and organic chemistry was difficult. Some are saying organic was easy. I don't think I don't consider it easy because the way the questions were framed were different. Were completely different. Now, lastly, before I come to the cutoff, I just want to state one thing that I'm really happy with the however the examinations are being framed right now because now if you see the difference between a CSR exam conducted in 2017 like the level of the questions the kind of questions um, in 2017 and the kind of questions that you see in 2022 okay or even in 2021 so start they started off by making inorganic difficult difficult in the sense it's not difficult, difficult, but the frame or the context of the questions, the way the questions are conveyed or, or, or are framed are very different. And that that makes it harder for students to answer without knowing the concept. Like they cannot just, you know, do some tricks 
or read some formulas and just attempt the questions. Those kind of questions have drastically or dramatically decreased. So that is a really good thing. So they showed it for inorganic, they have shown it for physical, but it was good to see that for even organic this time around. So if you did not know the mechanism, if you did not know, study the reaction mechanism or the pathway of the reaction, how it is proceeding, um, you know, if you just did some tricks to find out the stereochemistry, you will struggle, struggle. Because for example, let's say you did some uh, tricks to find out the stereochemistry, there was a question whether the hydro hydrogen is coming from intramolecular molecular source or a intermolecular source so let's say you know how to find out the stereochemistry like we all have done the, those tricks even i have right so i cannot take a moral high ground over here that i have not done tricks i have done it too but uh, you know where the hydrogen is coming from whether it's coming from an intermolecular or an intermolecular source so these kind of things okay made the exam really conceptual and i'm glad to see that they have done this for organic also so anytime soon if they combine inorganic organic and physical like the way they have over the last couple of years the exam is going to be super conceptual and it is going to really differentiate students who actually know the concepts from those who have you know um, memorize stuff because I remember in 2018 2019 uh, phase um, there was like there was not like, how do I put it like it was more about rote learning like you could do the formulas and you can really do well in the exam but after 2019 like after the pandemic hit I think they have really upped the ante of the questions and that's a great thing to see I think the cutoff obviously it depends on the number of seats but I feel uh, because the section B was easy otherwise I would have gone from 90 to 100 but because the section B was easy okay that might just put well, like you know uh, pull the cutoff a little higher um, and I think it should should be between um, uh, 90 um, 95 to 102 or something like that okay uh, I think so it could be higher uh, but uh, my gut says it should be it can go into the 90s so or I would say 97.5 to um, 105 okay could be a little bit on the higher side so I think according to me my gut says it should be around 97.5 or I would say 202.5 that is what my gut says uh, rest let's see when the question paper is out okay so thank you for watching um i hope you like it do let me know what you think about the exam and i'll be happy to discuss that out take care bye bye